Whether you've been a victim or you want to proactively protect your personal information, NBC5 Response PJ Rendawa explains what you can do now before hackers strike. Like many of us, Consumer Reports tech editor Nicholas DeLeon knows how it feels to be the victim of a data breach. His advice? Don't panic. My social security number was stolen in that big Equifax hack, and I was eventually able to sort everything out. One important step Nicholas took, freezing his credit at the big three credit agencies, a move CR generally recommends since it can help prevent criminals from opening up new accounts in your name. The thing is, anytime you need credit, say you're going to rent an apartment or you're going to buy a new phone, you'll need to unfreeze your credit to do so. You can do all of this by simply calling the credit agency and asking them to freeze and unfreeze your credit as needed. A less restrictive option, contacting credit agencies to put a fraud alert on your credit. This alerts lenders to take extra steps to verify someone's identity because their personal information may have been compromised. It's also a good idea to keep an eye on your free weekly credit reports, credit score, and credit card statements. And if you ever notice any weird or unauthorized charges on your credit card statement, you should immediately contact the issuer. Finally, if you're a victim of a data breach, be sure to change your password, not only on your hacked account, but also everywhere else you've used it. And a pro tip, instead of reusing passwords in the future, consider using a password manager. They generate and store unique, complex passwords for each of your accounts. Many will also alert users if their password was leaked in a data breach, including CR's recommended password managers from 1Password, Dashlane, and Keeper. PJ Randawa, NBC5, responds. Thanks to PJ. She's right. As we get all these hacks and there are so many breaches, it's good to have some tips to get us through these times. It's hard to keep track. It really is. Too many post-it notes. With <laughs> <laughs> Too many. That is so true. Get you on a new system. I know. <laughs>